The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. In the tenth month of the ninth year of Zedekiah's reign, on the tenth day of the month, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and his whole army advanced against Jerusalem and camped around it and built siege walls on every side. The siege of the city continued until the eleventh year of Zedekiah. On the ninth day of the fourth month, when famine had gripped the city, and the people had no more bread, the city walls were breached. Then the king and all the soldiers left the city by night, through the gate between the two walls that was near the king's garden. Since the Chaldeans had the city surrounded, they went in the direction of the Arabah. But the Chaldean army pursued the king and overtook him in the desert near Jericho, abandoned by his whole army. The king was therefore arrested and brought to Riblah, to the king of Babylon, who pronounced sentence on him. He had Zedekiah's sons slain before his eyes. Then he blinded Zedekiah, bound him with fetters, and had him brought to Babylon. On the seventh day of the fifth month, this was in the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, king, the captain of the bodyguard, came to Jerusalem as the representative of the king of Babylon. He burned the house of the Lord, the palace of the king, and all the houses of Jerusalem. Every large building was destroyed by fire. Then the Chaldean troops, who were with the captain of the guard, tore down the walls that surrounded Jerusalem. Then Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, led into exile the last of the people remaining in the city and those who had deserted to the king of Babylon, and the last of the artisans. But some of the country's poor, Nebuzaradan, king, captain of the guard, left behind as vine dressers and farmers. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Let my, my tongue, tongue be silenced if, if I ever, ever forget, forget you. <laughs> By the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land we hung up our harps. Let, Let my, my tongue, tongue be silenced if, if I, I ever, ever forget, forget you. you. Though there are though there our captors asked of us the lyrics of our songs, and our despoilers urged us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my, Let my tongue, tongue be silenced silence if, if I ever forget, forget you. you. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? <laughs> if I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my, Let my tongue, tongue be silenced, silenced if, if I, I ever forget, forget you. you. May my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not. 
if I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy. Let my tongue, my tongue be silenced if, if I, I ever forget, forget you. you. Your blessing, Father. Hail may God be in your heart and on your lips and may you proclaim his holy gospel worthy and well. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Thank to you, Lord. Lord. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached, did him homage, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I will do it. Be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We're beginning the eighth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, and it reminds us that love does. Love does. The previous three chapters of Matthew were devoted to Jesus' great Sermon on the Mount, his perfect summary revealing who God is through his teaching, through his word, the Beatitudes, God's desire to see us face to face, that we might see him and know him intimately, teaching on the virtues, the golden rule. And as a result of that beautiful teaching, Jesus was known, we're told, shortly before this passage, Jesus was recognized as teaching as one who has authority. Authority. And as soon as he comes down from his great teaching in word, he reveals that love does. Love doesn't just tell. Love stretches out its hand. Love offers healing. It's who God is. And who approaches him but a humble person who is manifesting disease, this leper? who is suffering isolation and separation from family and friends because of his manifesting of dis-ease. Wow, what a powerful reflection for us today in any way that we participate in the manifesting of disease. The church has long taught that social sin, social dysfunction, social disarray is nothing more than a proliferation of our individual disease, our individual separating from relationship, our individual sin, uh, perhaps made most famous from John Paul II, who taught that personal sin leads to societal sin. I like to reflect on G.K. Chesterton, who famously answered the question, what's wrong with the world? I am. I am. My imperfections manifest more broadly. We need not look far to see people seeking and searching for a restored relationship. Many on our margins immediately hope for and express a desire to be reunited with family and with friends. A beautiful opportunity to reveal to them that they are loved, they are worthy, and God does will that they be made clean and restored to relationship. That's what's going on here. Uh, we have the scripture on a Friday when God fully stretched out his right hand to us, Jesus. We remember this day, Jesus stretching out his hands in sacrifice on the cross, all in a humble offering to offer us restoration in relationship. He freely offers and waits for us to humbly come and tell him we're ready to be restored. It's my prayer for you today and for those you encounter. In any way you're struggling, 
uh, in any way you're feeling separated from family and friends, know that God wills that you be restored to relationship with him. That's the starting point. God bless your day. Let us now gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High. For Pope Francis, may God continue to give him strength and good health as he leads the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our elected leaders, may the power of God inspire them in their work for a just and lasting peace in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are sick, may Christ, the divine physician, see their need and bring strength and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those for whom we pray in our Father's Day Novena, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, may the Lord purify and sanctify us through his word and sacrament, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good and grace, God, bring in the needs of this day, those spoken, those within our hearts, those yet unknown. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth work of human hands who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for to the vine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, your duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, <clears throat> for although you have no need of our praise, yet your th our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy Lord. will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Amen. I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Happily, I can announce that uh, tomorrow morning will be our last private Mass here at St. Monica. Tomorrow morning's Saturday morning Mass at 8 a.m. Tomorrow evening will be our first public Mass here in the church with the 5 p.m. Vigil Mass. And for all of you who've been participating online, a thank you. Thank you for your participation online. But now is, is truly the time, if you're able, to come and to join us for the public celebration of the full goodness of God's love for us in the Eucharist. So if you haven't done so already, I encourage you uh, to go online and to sign up there at our website to participate uh, in Mass here at St. Monica. And if you're not yet comfortable to come for a Sunday Mass, uh, then to come for a weekday Mass. And it's no longer limited to just uh, one per week. You can certainly come uh, anytime, and there's uh, space available here uh, in the church. And, and so beginning on Monday, Monday will be a public Mass here at St. Monica. You just need to, again, make a reservation and to observe uh, the limitations that are placed upon us, such as wearing a mask uh, throughout the whole of the Mass. Uh, but I encourage you to, to, to come and to enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Also, a couple of changes coming with these changes is that uh, tomorrow evening will be the last time we stream uh, the Mass Saturday evening. Uh, well, actually, excuse me, we're making a change this weekend. 
so he won't be streaming Mass tomorrow evening. Uh, we're going to be shifting that time frame to 11 a.m. on Sunday. 11 a.m. a.m. on Sunday, streaming the Sunday Mass. Again, uh, our target audience is really the homebound, and that really is the best time for the homebound is at 11 a.m. Uh, on Sunday. So if you've been participating online Saturday evening and still uh, are still at home or homebound, uh, to shift now to 11 a.m. on Sunday morning Mass. Also, uh, as I've already informed the parish at large, next week uh, we're only going to have uh, visiting hours here in the church from 9 till noon, 9 till noon, and that's without exposition. Remember, exposition was only taking place while we were fasting from the Eucharist, uh, and we are breaking our fast this weekend publicly uh, with the celebration of the Mass publicly. And also 9 till noon because uh, we need to give our custodial staff a much needed time off and also to give them the time they need to give attention to other duties that have been neglected over the last uh, few months. So please make note of these changes. Uh, and also, again, our website is the best resource uh, we have for you to, to check on any changes or updates. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.